many of you the situation you are in now you cannot advocate your liberty it will take somebody who is already in the palace you are joseph you have the ability to interpret dreams potential to be a prime minister but you don't have a chance to defend yourself in front of pharaoh but there is a wine presser somewhere i don't know who is already where in a place where they can speak for you and they are not speaking for you because they have forgotten you i place you in their mind by the spirit of the living God I place you in their mind may God cause them to speak for you in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the Lord is asking me to rebuke the spirit of fear the Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear but of love power and of a sound mind it says to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage there are many of you you are not sick but the fear that is on you you get up in the morning will an accident happen you just feel something small in your body and the devil says death is the voice of the enemy i want to silence it right now every voice that is planting fear in jesus name that voice is hereby silence forever silence forever silence forever i prophesy over you you shall not die no untimely death in the name of jesus please hear me anybody that is plotting evil against you whether kidnap or accident or sickness in the name of jesus let the earth open and swallow them let the earth open and swallow them in the name of jesus christ any charm any coven any satanic place in the name of jesus that carries anything that belongs to you i declare that the power fails instantly let me pray for someone who is trusting god for a job in the name of jesus may ebenezer the helper of men surprise you in the name of jesus every ministry here every business that is dead or dying everything in your hand that is dying you are holding something that is dying i give it life now let it come back to life now your business comes back to life your body comes back to life your ministry comes back to life in the name of jesus christ hallelujah whatever has taken the glory of the lord upon your life for samson it was delilah that took that glory from him for gideon something happened and he the least person the least in his father's house all those idolatry brought them to a place of subjugation whatever has taken the glory of god upon your life you used to be great you used to be anointed you used to be favored something happened and you just started drying up like a tree in the name of jesus may the restorer restore you tonight I say it again, may the restorer restore you tonight. May the restorer restore you tonight. Hallelujah. Please hear me. Any door that was once opened for good, and whether by mistakes on your part, by not understanding the laws that keep doors open or by some demonic thing that door closed whether doors of favor doors of relationship doors into the heart of great men i stand and call upon he that has the key of david the one that opened it and no man shut it and shut it and no man open it i speak to that door a fata be open be open be open the door to the hearts of kings be open the door to your destiny help us heart be open in the name of jesus christ can i pray for your finances for as long as i live i will not only see to it that you are vibrant spiritually and growing in influence i believe in economic empowerment where god empowers the right hands once god has a heart that loves him and that you are able to use resources to better your life and to advance the cause of the kingdom there are no restraints to him making wealth available are we together by this prayer for some of you what you will be receiving is wisdom 
by this prayer what some of you will be receiving is access to the right resources but then in the name of jesus i pray the bible says believe it says and by a prophet the lord god brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet they were preserved it says believe the lord your god so shall you be established believe his prophet so shall you prosper i pray for you god who has shown many help god who has shown many mercy picking men from unbelievable pits and raising them to places of honor i call upon that god to surprise you in your finances no more dryness in your finances personally corporately no more dryness hear me if there is any one of you here who is owing whether as a company whether as an individual i don't care owing is owing anybody who is owing in the name of jesus christ i place an unction upon you come out of that debt now come out of that financial situation now in the name of jesus christ in the next few minutes i want to pray over your life many of you will be surprised that by reason of this impartation you will go back home and they will tell you that someone has been manifesting under the influence of spirits you will stand and you will think it's a joke you will say in the name of jesus and watch those devils leave in a moment never to return and then you will see doors open over your family members they will call you pastor and you say i'm not a pastor they say that's that's none of our business whoever can cast out a devil like this is our pastor how about sickness there are some of you who will carry these hands that you see god has given you it's not just for eating you will carry these hands and lay it upon people and watch with wonder growths satanic manifestations in their bodies will just dry up like that and they will ask you what happened and you will tell them it's true that god gives gifts to men god can give gifts to men god can empower men and then some of you when the grace for favor rests upon your life i heard one of our dear sisters who was testifying here you will marvel and wonder it does not take long for this to happen you will see god moving in your life in a way that will surprise you ideas you did not think of downloaded in your spirit strategies by the spirit on what to do and what not to do all it be it by the spirit i want you to rise in one minute and you are going to pray one prayer and then i pray for you father in the name of jesus i open up my heart and i open up my spirit to receive the impartation that positions me to manifest this kingdom authority even within this end time i want to be an effective battle axe i want to be an effective believer not just one who comes to receive in church but one who one who becomes an extension of that power go ahead and pray once upon a time the disciples could not cast out spirits once upon a time the disciples could not pray for the sick once upon a time they could not enjoy and experience the blessings of the lord but something came upon them go ahead and pray Shadi ke bele ke parus ka savrande ke bele to shafres e cross ka de bele ka parus yata take a minute to pray ladies and gentlemen a global family connecting from across the globe this is what God wants to do in this season. Dominion over unclean spirits. Bringing liberty to men. Ministering the spirit. Releasing families. Releasing captives. Dominion over sicknesses, diseases, infirmity, death. Dominion over economic financial limitations that have plagued the body of christ someone pray this sermon was downloaded from www.spiritnerds.org we equip christians with thousands of strategic spiritual materials daily Join millions of Christians around the world who have come to Spirit Nerds to learn about God 
and his word today.